My name's Gordon Deadman and welcome to another episode of Bushcraft Survival. Today we're going to be having a look at water, how to find it, how to filter it and how to purify it and make it safe to drink. Finding water is very specific to the environment you're in. We're going to be looking at finding water in woodland on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. This is the last pocket of water I've found in this creek line which I've been following. After collecting the water, we're going to have to filter it and purify it by boiling. Having a look at the water, I can see it's reasonably clear, it's quite clean. There's just a few twigs and a few leaves floating about, but other than that, that's pretty much all that's uh, um, wrong with it. So we're not going to have to do too much as far as filtering is concerned. Now there are two stages to making water um, drinkable or potable. We have to filter it first, then we have to purify it. A lot of people think that just filtering is enough, but it's not. Uh, once you've filtered the water, you then have to make the water potable through boiling or iodine or some other um, man-made way of doing it. So we're going to look at the filtering phase first. So in this instance, I've got two things. I've got a water, I've got a stainless steel cooking pot. We have this in our kit, very important part of our kit, because it enables us to boil water. So having a stainless steel cooking pot is essential. I've also got a bandana. Now a bandana, 100% cotton bandana, has a variety of uses, but our use today, we're going to use it just for filtering. Now filtering, all we're looking at doing is removing the particulate matter from the water. Getting rid of the solids and all the crud and that sort of thing. That's all we're looking and doing in filtering. We're not looking to make it potable and get, we're not trying to get rid of the microscopic nasties like Jardy and Cryptosprudium, that's going to come later. So we're just looking at getting rid of the particulate matter in the solids. So with my other cup, all I'm going to do is just skim some water off the top and put it into my cooking pot. I've made a depression in there with my bandana so that can receive the water. And all I'm doing is just skimming that off the top where it's nice and clear and then filling up my cooking pot that way. And all that, any solids that are in there are going to be strained and kept separate through my bandana. What we're going to have a look now is an improvised filter. We could use a bandana for this or we could use a standard army sock or any other type of sock. We're going to put some things inside that sock that's actually going to take out more of the, the nasties. And if we couldn't um, boil the water or find other, some other way of making it more potable, this would probably be the closest thing to making it uh, drinkable. So we're going to improvise with a few things here. So I've got a standard army sock and inside this sock in layers, firstly we're going to put a layer of uh, fine sand on the bottom. Then the next layer is going to be charcoal. Now charcoal is, is brilliant for its ability to absorb toxins. So in all sorts of man-made filters you'll, you'll, you'll buy from the shop, you'll find that charcoal is one of the major components in it because it is a great absorber of toxins. So we're going to have charcoal as the, uh, the second layer. A third layer, we're going to have some coarse rocks and on top of the quartz rock, we're going to have a fine layer of grass. And that's going to go from, um, from coarse down to fine and that's going to filter out a lot of the impurities. So what I've had, I've got my sock here, my army sock. In the bottom of it we have sand, charcoal, some coarse uh, quartz or any sort of rock if it's coarse rock and then we have some grass on top of that. So basically from coarse down to fine and that's going to give us added filtration. First of all, before I put my pot under it, I'm just going to scoop up some water from our uh, source here tip it through and I'm just going to let that fall through. Once that comes out clear on the bottom then I will put my pot underneath it. So I need to let it all get become wet and saturated first before I uh, put our receptacle underneath it. So that's becoming nice and saturated now. I can see that starting to come out quite clear. So that's obviously been working already as far as that filter is concerned. Once it's sort of that's a bit clearer, I'll put my cooking pot underneath it. Now you can keep on going a fair way until you're happy with the clarity of that. But I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick stick my uh, stainless steel container, which as we said is a very important piece of kit because it enables me to boil our water afterwards. And I'm going to filter that. Being careful that it's only filling up and dripping directly into the container. So what's actually going into the container is coming through the filter. And I'll keep on doing that until I've filled my pot up. Now a variation of the uh, filter, or of a, a man-made filter, is what we use in the military. It's called a millbank bag or a millbank filter. And all this is a uh, cloth bag or a canvas bag, obviously tapering down to a point. And it acts the same way as our bandana did, but because it's a tight weave, it holds back a lot of the, uh, the fine and particulate matter. It's at exactly the same principle. We get our water, stick it in through the top. Once again, we have to saturate the bag first. Needs to be completely saturated. There is a line at the top that we need to fill the bag up to. And once that comes out clear and it's nice and saturated, then we can put our cooking pot or receptacle underneath it. So I'll let that saturate through a bit. Now the more saturated the bag is, the better this works. I'm not going to wait, make you wait for that whole process to go through. And that's coming out reasonably clear, or actually very clear. So I'm going to stick my pot under now. Normally I'd wait for a little bit longer for that to happen. But I'm going to start filling that up now. And we carry on with we did as we did before with the sock. Here we are back at camp, and I've got the water that we collected and, and filtered uh, into our two receptacles, and I'm now putting that on the fire to boil. So, and I'm uh, basically I'm going to bring that to the rolling boil. You know, only need to boil it for about two or three minutes, nothing more. Any more than that, we're just wasting steam and wasting water. Two or three minutes is all you need to, to do to bring your water to the rolling boil to make it potable to drink. And that's going to get rid of 99% of uh, waterborne pathogens, the main ones being Cryptosporidium and Jaya.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode on water and how to find it, filter it, and purify it and make it safe to drink. My name's Gordon Dedman, and I look forward to seeing you again on another episode of Bushcraft Survival.